Welcome to Black Belt Defense, Volume 6, 2007. Before we begin, I would first like to explain a little about the reason why our black belts perform a different set of defensive moves for each year. These defensive scenarios are created by each of the black belts and replace what in some martial arts call cutter or forms. The cutter or forms are great to teach the basic application of techniques, but at a higher level the student has to be able to adapt to a continuous flow of attacks and counters. Seito Jitsu literally means the art of growing. By creating a different set of defensive scenarios for each year, it inspires the student and encourages them to develop and create ways of movements that they may not have experienced before. The first movement in a reaction or counter from an attack has to coincide with the directional movements of the Seito Jitsu emblem theory. For, for example, here, this emblem demonstrates the emblem theory. The first movement is your forward directional movement line, then your reverse directional movement line. To the right is number three, to the left is number four, forward diagonal, number five, number six, rear diagonal, number seven, forward diagonal, and number eight, rear diagonal. To demonstrate, I will use all eight directional movement lines only using throws. So I'm going to bring up my OK Trevor. Now, I'm going to be throwing you. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a throw in every one of the directional movement lines from the same uh, form of attack. So, Mayuki comes behind me and grabs me around the neck with his left arm. There you go. Now, coming in our first directional body movement, I'm just going to grab on, step forward, and he's now throwing my Uki down to the ground. From this point, I then proceed to roll him over, but I wanted to pop his arm, finish him off with a strike to the head. That's all fine. My second directional movement, grab me from the same thing. Some, pe some people might not realize um, that it could be a bit difficult when you want to throw somebody going in eight directional movement lines, right? So from this situation, I step back on number eight. With my knee, I bend it so that it takes its under gravity, throwing him down again, where I can again control him and finish him off. Now, he grabs on again. From here, I'm just going to step off on the number three directional movement line. In this position, the throw is like Tayatoshi, where I just throw him back down in this position, holding on to the arm, turning him around. If I want to pop his arm, pick him up, choke him, give him a palm strike to the base of the skull, he's pretty much mine at that point. <laughs> The fourth directional movement line, as Mayuki comes and grabs a hold of me, I'm going to step to the left, intercepting his hand, and as I step to my left, I bring my other foot with me, and I do a shoulder throw to Uki again, rolling him over where I can be in control after extending his shoulder. The fifth directional <coughs> movement line, it's really easy because it's using body motion. Intercepting from the arm again, stepping on the number five, and just turning around. From this position again, turning around, popping his arm. If I want to pop it this way, bend it, and go to position to control him from here, it's all plain and simple. Number six, people might wonder about this one. Instead of grabbing on at this position, I'm going to intercept from here, coming in, 
Yuno Goshi, again, controlling him, putting him in a finishing hold or move or strike. Number seven is another one that somebody might think is a bit difficult. I'm going to step in a number seven directional body movement line, crossing this hand in this position, bringing this hand up around the shoulder, tossing him again, again controlling him over, using my knees as well as his arm. The eighth scenario, he grabs on, I step in my number eight direction movement line, I pick him up, dumping him over in this position if I want to pop his, his foot, take his knee back in this position, or just drop down with my knee, handing him in the ribs, it's all fine. So I'm going to get some of my black belts up, now demonstrating some eight moves. They will do a talk, they will do their talk through, and then do it at a, a fast pace. All right, in this technique, my uh, attacker is going to attack me with a forehand strike and handle. Here, I block his technique at the wrist while simultaneously delivering a strike to his bicep. Once I deliver the strike to the bicep, I quickly wrap it up to his temple, taking his bowels away from him momentarily. I swoop him around to this position where I place my leg in front of him, fall back, deliver a strike to the sternum with my heel, and one to the groin which makes him forget about his handball, which I disarm, hit him in the hip, and finish him off with a strike to the head. In this technique, my opponent is going to uh, brush me with a knife and grab me behind my head and try to uh, impale me with the blade into my stomach. So from here, I have to move back to give myself enough room to parry the blade and move it to the outside of my body, which will give me enough room to deliver a strike to the side of his head. Here, like in the last technique, I use the strike to guide him around to uh, this point, twisting his wrist. I deliver a knee to the back of his skull, drag him out, deliver a strike to his elbow, which further twists his wrist, making him drop the blade. And I finish him off with a large strike to the base of the skull. In this technique, my attacker is going to attack me with a, uh, a backhand strike with the handle, and this time I'm fortunate enough to have a knife to defend myself. So as he attacks me, I intercept his striking hand with the blade of the knife, and I intercept the handle at the same time with my free hand. I use the blade of the knife to pry the handle free from his finger. I step in, slicing his stomach, his head, and I swoop the knife in around, putting my opponent into a chicken wing block. Bend him forward, and I use the handle I disarm from him to scoop him up under the chin and around to a position where I can choke him out. Ever being aware of the blade that's, that's by my own bicep, I take it around and I finish him off with a stab to the ribs. In this technique, my attacker and I have found ourselves in a wrestler's clinch. From here, it would be pretty hard to see what I'm doing. But first of all, I step to the outside to give myself some leverage. And I use this knuckle to apply downward pressure to inside his collarbone, causing him a, a good amount of pain, making him comply with very little force. So from here, as I step out, and I bend him down, I bring him across my, my own knee, holding him up. From here, I deliver a shooto strike to his throat, a palm strike to his chin, collecting his arm, not letting him fall. I am holding him up at this point. At this point, I take his, his fingers off of my neck, deliver a rich hand to his nose, right, twisting and torquing his hands, causing him a tremendous amount of pain. 
through his forearm and his shoulder. From here, I step back, deliver a strike to his armpit, and yank his twisted arm out of joint. This attack, again, my attacker is attacking me with a forehand strike with the handle. This time, I intercept the handle directly with my left hand and deliver a chop or a block to his hand. From here, I let the energy of the strike pass through and I get to the outside of his body using my arm and the handle as a fulcrum and lever to pry the handle free from his own fingers. At this point here, I step through my attacker, bringing him around in an Asoto Gary type throw. This gives me enough room to grab onto his handbow, putting it across his scapula, his shoulder, his skull, and cho choking him out by crushing his ribcage. From here, I strike him twice, let him drop, and finish him off with a strike to the skull with his own stick. In this self-defense situation here, my attacker sneaks up from behind me and places me into a full Nelson hold or a master lock, as it's known in some circles. From here, he's putting a tremendous amount of downward pressure on my neck, trying to bend me over. So from here, I use that downward pressure and I redirect his energy on a forward 45. Now, most people who want to fight you are going to pull back and try to keep the lock. I use that energy of his own pullback to break his hold. From here, I grab a big handful of his chest, do the same on the other side, and I deliver two strikes to the middle of his back, drag him around, keeping him in this key lock. I'm, right now, he's in a tremendous amount of pain. All I have to do is snap up, dislocate his shoulder, grab him by his chin, and deliver a finishing strike with the knuckle on my thumb to his carotid artery. situation, my attacker has decided to once again attack me with a handbow. This time he's coming at me with a backhand strike. So as he does that, I quickly move forward on a forward 45, intercepting his hand and quickly putting him in to a wrist lock, dragging him around this way. Right? From here, I want to hit him in the face with his own handbow, but he's smart and he catches the stick before it gets there. So I have to quickly counter by wrapping my hand around his, grabbing onto the handle, using the handbow itself as a prying tool to break his grip on the staff. From here, I weave the handbow around his arm, putting him into an arm lock, preventing his hand from escaping with my own arm, putting my whole body weight on the end of the handle. I pick it up and drop it into the base of his skull. attack, my attacker is unarmed, but he's going to deliver a roundhouse kick to my front leg and trying to buckle me and bring me down. I'm simply going to remove the target when he delivers the kick by throwing up, picking the leg out of the way and throwing up a crescent kick. I'm going to deliver one punch to give me some space, and throw a roundhouse kick up to his head, deliver one other punch, two other punches to his chest. At this point, I haven't finished him off and he's angry, he wants to fight back. So I protect my face by keeping my hand up here, and he delivers a big right hand strike, which I get out of the way of, deliver a slap to the base of the skull, one to his nose, one to the back of his skull again, intercepting the hand which he punched with at this point, which is just dangling in limbo. Put him into a key lock, bring him to the ground, roll him over to his belly in a chicken wing, crank the arm up his back, breaking it, and drop all my body weight into the base of his skull, finishing him off. My opponent comes forward, grabs my lapel, double hand grab, 
It leaves both my hands free. He pulls me towards him on a number one forward movement angle. I cup his elbow with my left hand. I use the palm of my right hand. I drive it under his chin and straight up to the ceiling. I simultaneously twist in a counterclockward motion. I drop him to the ground. I collect the hand to keep control. I break the elbow across my knee. His ribs are exposed. I drop my body weight, drive my fist into his ribs, and finish him off with a strike to the groin. Okay, my opponent comes up behind me in an aggressive move. He pull, yanks on my hair and pulls me backwards in a number two directional movement line. I make a fist with my right hand. I cup it with my left. I drive it straight into his ribs. I'm blocking the arm because he's going to try to hit me. I turn into him, strike him to the side of the head, pop the arm. I go to take him down. I've got my knee in there. He gets marked. He tries to pull me down with him, so I go with the momentum. I have to switch my hand so I can turn. I turn around, and I drive my knee straight down. If his face is near me, I hit him with it. I take his arm. I hyperextend it even more. Finishing it by popping it, driving into his exposed ribs, and shoot on chopping to the back of the skull. My opponent comes forward with a left punch. I block it, step to the right on a number three directional movement line. It allows me to come up with a side kick. I'm still guarding that hand. Strike him to the side of the head, wrap around, guillotine him, controlling the arm, give him two good strikes to the back of the spine, drop him to the ground, break the arm over my knee, and stomp on his head.
opponent goes to attack me with a roundhouse kick. As he does so, I explode into it, jamming the kick and punching him in the face with the same momentum. Continuing with another punch to the face, grabbing his arm so I'm on the outside, elbowing him to the head. Again, bending him over the back of my leg, flipping him over the back. Okay, my opponent attacks me with a choke from behind. As he's pulling me back from behind, I have to do a backward directional movement to go with this force so I don't get choked. As I do this and he pulls me back, I turn in with my hip, giving him elbow strikes to the ribs and to the chest. I continue to spin out from here so I cross him over and he cannot hit me. I give him a knee to the back, a roundhouse to the breadth of the chest. As I do this, I spin his wrist to the outside, spinning him around into an arm break. From here, I continue to move with his body force. Again, as he pulls back his arm, I go back into a straight or a bent arm lock with his shoulder, step behind his body, and twist him over my knee. As he lands, I drop my knee into the middle of his back, pull him back on his arm, ripping his shoulder blade. My opponent comes with a left uh, hooked punch. I step out of the way on direct line to my right. As I'm stepping out of the way, I'm kicking out the forward leg's knee, stepping in into an arm break with the elbow down taking up the elbow, immediately giving him two elbows to the chest, stepping out once again just in case he comes to punch, hooking around the head, going with the movement, flipping him over onto his back. When he lands, twisting wrist again over on his stomach so he cannot hit me, giving him a palm strike to the back of the head, and then bringing his elbow to the ground, applying a wrist lock. Okay, my, I come up to my opponent, I don't want to fight, my hands are up, I'm taking a defensive kind of stance, but I'm not threatening. My opponent decides to lean in and try to grab me in a straight arm bar, and he does so, I step out on a forward directional line movement, using circular movement, and I punch him in the face, pulling my arm in. Continuing with a knee to the groin, as he drops down to his knee, he attempts to grab my leg. With so I elbow to the shoulder, grabbing around the neck to the chin, using it as leverage and spinning him around to where he can't hit, pulling him back into a knee to the back of the head, and down with a hammer fist to the face. going to attack with a uh, front thrust kick followed by a roundhouse. Moving into the roundhouse, I catch the leg on a forward directional angle to my left, crossing over his hand and punching him in the face. As I do this, I pick up my leg, I strike to the thigh with my knee, strike out with my heel to his other knee. Grab on my hand, twist his ankle, bring my opponent off balance, onto the floor where he cannot hit me. Keep his leg elevated as I stomp on his back. <laughs> My opponent attacks me with two straight arms, pushing me back with his arms lock. I go off balance, I step back with the leg, bracing myself, palm striking to the chin, which is also separating him. His other arm is locked under my arm straight. I bring up my knee, break the arm, come down on the leg with the same leg, coming into the wrist lock, bringing him down to his knee, and coming up with a knee strike to the face. My opponent attempts to attack me by grabbing me with one hand and he's punching me with the other. I redirect the punch, crossing him over to the outside, making sure that he cannot punch me. 
Come straight into him, crossing him over even more, twisting with the body, putting him over on his back. As he lands on his back, I'm striking him in the face to take his mind off being able to punch me, twisting his wrist as I turn into him and stuck, wrenching his wrist. So my opponent attacked me with a couple of slashes of a knife, stepping down with the third one, moving into the second one off on an angle, catching the knife arm, breaking the arm, punching to the face to take his mind off it. From here, he attempts to bend his arm. I come back into him, elbowing him in the face and coming back, slashing the neck. From here, I kick out the knee as he goes down on the one knee. I step over his arm, breaking the elbow again and sitting to the ground. And do an arm lock. Okay, and again, applying straight arm lock. For my first self-defense situation, my attack is coming at me with a straight right hand. I'm moving forward on a number one directional movement line, checking his strike with my left hand while simultaneously trying to collect him underneath his chin with my right. However, my attacker is smart and goes with this energy and attempts to throw me in so I throw. From the throw, I continue the energy going forward, putting my attacker onto his stomach. He has my right hand trapped, so with my free left hand, I deliver two strikes to the base of the skull, collecting underneath, choking out my opponent. In my next self-defense situation, my attacker is coming at me with a straight left hand. I step back, collecting the strike, and as soon as I step back, I come forward with the left knee to his ribs. As my left foot goes down, it takes him out at the knee, dropping my attacker to his knees. I deliver one, two, three strikes to the neck. On the third strike to the neck, as he's going around, I recollect his arm, bringing him around into a shoulder lock, breaking my opponent's shoulder. <laughs> For my third self-defense situation, my attacker is coming at me with a reverse right hand punch. I counter cross, stepping out of my number three directional movement line, collecting his strike with my right hand, while simultaneously striking him to the face with my left. I go to step in, trying to punch him in the face of my right hand. However, my attacker collects my arm and uh, puts it into a key lock. From this key lock, I extend my arm out and take him at the knee, breaking his center of gravity. From here, I'm striking him twice to the head and taking his arm away from him onto his uh, belly, finishing him off with a strike to the back of the head. my fourth self-defense situation, my attacker is coming at me, trying to get me in the stomach with his knife. As he comes, I step out on my number four directional movement line, collecting his hand, controlling the weapon. As my attacker goes to pull it back, I go with it, bringing it past him into a key lock, letting it come forward, slicing him across the neck. From here, I'm digging it into his stomach, keeping the energy, bringing it back up to the other side of his neck. I'm pushing down on his head so he cannot turn into me. And as I let him drop, I'm slicing it across his neck on the way down, using his wrist, controlling the blade still, digging it into his kidney and finishing off my opponent. For my fifth self-defense situation, my attacker now has a hand bow and using an overhand strike, he comes to attack me. I step in, delivering a strike to his carotid artery while controlling his handle by walking into him and uh, taking at the butt end. I take this energy, allowing him to come back, striking him in the neck. I step around him, grabbing a hold of the handle. It's trapped underneath my arm. Go over two strikes to my opponent, letting him roll down my knee, taking the handle, 
Finishing them off with a strength to the head. For my sixth self-defense technique, my opponent is coming out with a straight left hand. I move out on a number six, counter crossing, striking my opponent to the face with my right hand. And as his energy passes by me, I put him into a chicken wing. From here, however, my attacker is smart and tries to take this energy and elbow me in the face with it. As the energy comes, I step around him, putting him into a wrist lock, dangling his body weight, making it hard for him. And then I'll drop down my knee, still controlling the arm, twisting it behind his back, finishing off my opponent with a strike to the base of the skull. For my seventh self-defense situation, my attacker is again coming at me with a straight left hand. I'm stepping forward on a number seven, checking this strength with my left arm. As I come around to put a heel kick into his stomach, I'm also checking with my right arm. As this leg comes down, it immediately feeds into the spinning sweep. The closest thing to me is his left leg. I turn it over, putting my attacker onto his stomach, finishing him off with a chop to the base of the skull. For my number eight, my eighth self-defense situation, my attacker is grabbing my collar and giving me a push. As he does, I take his energy at the elbow, bringing it forward, taking his center of gravity. I let my arm come out in front of him, putting him into a reverse guillotine, cranking up on the back of his neck, delivering two elbow strikes to his face. I then put my hand across his chin, bringing him down into a controlling technique, and from here, I'm delivering a finishing blow to the side of his face. <laughs> On my number one directional movement, instead of waiting for my opponent to come close enough to hit me, I explode with my front deep leg, then with my lead hand, Following up with my left hand as he's moving back, I come with a roundhouse, I come with another roundhouse, I come to strike him, grab him by the reverse guillotine, knee him in the back, do an elbow strike to his sternum, let him fall to the ground. As my opponent comes to strike me, I move back in a number two direction movement line, punching him to the face, following with another punch to his ribs. He continues his attack to me to punch me. I move out of the way from his punch, elbow him in the face. He comes to punch me again. I move out, out and away around from his punch, crossing him over, crossing this own over top of his own elbow, kicking him into the face, come in for a leg sweep and throw him down. From here, I pick him up and rotate him over using the wrist and do a finishing palm strike to the base of the skull. A third directional movement line. As my opponent comes to attack me, I shoot out in the third directional movement line, roundhousing him, coming to punch him, then elbow him. As I'm elbowing him, he redirects my elbow strike, crossing me around. I then turn around here, come up with a rich hand into his jugular vein, coming across into a choke. From the choke, I'm going to pop him in the ear with my palm, hook the arm like this, pulling it back, stretching his throat open like this, and then finishing him off with a strike to the ribs. For my fourth directional movement line, my attacker comes to kick me. I shoot him on a number four, intercepting his leg. At the same time, I'm coming to strike him, grabbing him by the lapel, and holding his shoulder in this position crossing his arm from being able to come back and hit me. In this position, I'm going to then knee my attacker in the groin a couple times, come through with a sweeping takedown, taking my opponent down. Still continuing to hold on to his lapel, I go to punch him in the face, but he's pushing my face away with his hand. I take this hand, pass it underneath my own armpit, and extending it across my knee, 
giving him an arm bar. Now, as I lean forward to strike him, it applies both pressure to the arm bar at the same time as I'm striking him. And in this position, there's nothing he can do. He can't push with his leg because I have him by the lapel still. Anytime I want, if I wanted to change it into a, a knee bar or something, I could then again do that. But this is the finishing technique. For my number five directional movement, my opponent comes to attack me. I shoot on the number five, striking him under the tricep with these two knuckles here. Then into his ribs, then into the hip. I come up, strike him into the carotid artery again, coming to choke him in a scissor lock. He then continues to strike me in the head with his elbow. I go with the force of his strike, crossing him over. I still have a tight, a tight hold of his lapel in this position, crossing and stopping this arm from any mobility of coming to strike me. He's kind of stuck in this position, so I'm going to continue to elbow him between the scapula. In this position here, I'm going to then step away, pulling him over and down in this position, dropping my knee in behind his head, taking his arm and hyperextending his arm across my knee again. Popping it so that it rolls him over so that he can't bring up his feet to guard or kick, kick me. For my number six, as my opponent comes to strike me, I step off in a number six directional movement line, side kicking him into his ribs, continuing to strike him into his head. As I come for my second strike to his head, he's still countering to strike me. I move outside of his strike coming to me. I step around, grabbing him up the back of his neck, pulling his head and rotating him across me to this position, continuing the rotation. I then put my knee into the small of his back, pulling up on his chin and cranking his neck back. As my opponent comes to strike me, I step in a number seven directional movement line, intercepting his arm, grabbing onto his wrist and slicing my elbow through his ribs, coming back for a couple elbow strikes onto his ribs. He then, he's pulling back his arm because he doesn't like me elbow striking him. So I go back with this energy, pushing his hand behind his back in this position, reaching my hand up around his neck. I'm coming to choke him, but he grabs onto my hand and he's pulling my hand because he doesn't want me to choke him. I then go with his pull, reaching around, grabbing onto his own arm in this position, locking up this arm in this position. I then pull him down a bit. If I wanted to strike him into the carotid artery, if I wanted to twist his neck around, I can twist his neck around. He's pretty much in my control at this point. As my opponent comes to attack me with a knife, I shoot out on a number eight directional movement line, snapping the knife out of his hand, popping him into the head, popping him into the head, coming back around in this position here, grabbing on, choking him, popping his arm, and striking him into the ribs to take him out. 